Welcome to Godalming College. Uh, my name is Joe McCarthy and I am Head of Computer Science at Godalming. And if you're watching this video, it's probably because you've had a look at our transition document and you're going to have a go at the Car of Finite State Machine Simulator. Hopefully you've read the introduction, watched Craig and Dave's video and downloaded everything. So you're ready to go. And now what we're going to do is have a little look at Cara, just so that you know what you're up to. So if you follow these links, you hopefully have downloaded the right version of Cara and the right version of Java. Just in case, um, it is this version of Cara you need. Some of the other versions are not very friendly with the latest versions of the Java runtime environment. So it's just the standard Cara. The, the full version may work, or may not, but this version will definitely work. The version, I mean, you can download a, um, the Java development kit, but it is Java 8, and it's just this Java runtime environment that you need. The links I've given you on the document should take you to the, to the exact right files. So let's assume you've done that, and first time you've run Kara, and up has popped this funny little window. If you looked at the manual, you know that you can manually drag stuff and you can manually control Kara to your heart's content. You can drop leaves. You can drop another one, go back and you can pick leaves up. But that's not really what we're about. What we want to do is program Kara. So there are three windows you need to be really aware of. One is the programming window. This gives you a programming development environment where you can put in new states, choose senses, and then you can program transitions. So this is a transition that goes from state one to stop. This is one that stays at state one, starts at state one, goes at state one. Let's just set this as the start state, otherwise it won't work. You can choose what happens on these particular transitions. So for this transition here, uh, we could say that we'll stop when we're in front of a tree. And we'll say, yes or no to a leaf who cares about the leaf and we'll say that we'll stay on state one as long as there isn't a tree in front of us and now if i was to actually put a tree in the environment i'm just going to uh, move the car out of the way this this program will run um it's not going to do much just the car is going to in fact it's not going to do anything in a minute uh, it will just keep running around and keep going until car has a tree in front of her. Fortunately, car will never get to that point because nothing's happening. So what we can do is we can say that move forward if we're in state one on this transition and we won't do anything uh, in this transition. Otherwise, of course, we will we'll bash into the tree. So if I execute this program by coming back over to here, we can see car keeps moving forward then stops and the program ends when it hits this stop state. So that's a really, really, really ridiculously simple program just to have a go at. What I could just do is have it so that if there's a leaf in the way, uh, it gets picked up. Do you notice I can put that either side of it? So I could move forward and pick up, or I could pick up and move forward does make a difference, you try both of them. Oh, well, I, uh, what have I done wrong now? Yes or no, that's got to be no. Uh, hopefully you saw what that moan was then. It basically said, I've got two states whereby uh, I'm hand, trying to handle whether there's a leaf there or not a leaf there. So I just need to be careful. Uh, that means car security is instant, but you have not specified a transition. So there's no leaf, and oh, I've got to add another one. Okay, I suppose officially what I ought to do is um, have it so that all of the 
possibilities are handled. That's probably safest. So we'll just pick that leaf up there. So if we run this now, just pick up the leaf, pop and carry on and then stop. So if I've got two sensors and each one's binary, then I need four inputs. I need four transitions. And you'll notice that I've got three that are all handled by this one transition. Now, obviously, we don't just want to do for you to do random things. So there's also a little set of exercises. These are great. I mean, if you look, there is a whole wadge of them. And some of them are basically what we've just done. And you can read that and just get your head around it. You can have ones that are a bit trickier. And you can read it. You've got some that are um, trickier still. And we've got some that are downright evil. However, obviously you setting up these worlds would be a right pain. So if we go to mazes, it's one of my favourite ones, definitely have a go at mazes. What we can do is just set it up so we're looking at a particular instance of the world. And it will set it up for you. This particular one allows you to run several different worlds one after another. So we can, I mean, if you read the instructions, it's basically um, trying to trying to solve following the maze. Now we, it does give you the solutions. Could I implore you to really have a go at this first before having a look at the solutions and work your way up? There's no way you're going to, you know, be able to do this one first. So get your head around it, have a go at some easier ones, and then work your way through to the tricky ones. Uh, I did have someone uh, last year who created, whoops, put this on the screen properly, who created Pascal's Triangle for an absolutely huge world. I think it was the biggest world that Cara can support. And it took um, days and days and days for it to run. Uh, if you want to do that, that'd be lovely. But it's completely up to you to work your way through these and have a go at them. Keep a uh, keep tabs of uh, your solutions. The best way or the easiest way of doing it is either to save it using uh, the save button here, or you can just screenshot um, screenshot your solution. That's the other way. Just keep a keep a, a log of them in a in a word document. Uh, should you want extra help, there's a user manual that is infinitely more useful than that uh, printed one. Goes through things in a bit more detail. Gives you some examples. Oh, don't do that. So I strongly recommend you read that. Right, it's been nice chatting to you and I look forward to seeing you all in September. Do have an explore of some of these links. Uh, I spent a bit of time trying to find stuff that would be interesting and hopefully stuff you haven't seen at GCSE. And if you haven't done the GCSE, do not worry. Um, only about half to two thirds of the people that do the course have done GCSE Computer Science. Everyone is welcome and we'll be able to get you all up to the same sort of uh, standard by about halfway through the, the, the first year. It's been lovely chatting to you and I will see you all soon.